Hi everyone, Tim Warner here, host of the Inform IT on Certification screencast channel and the Certification Reference Guide. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at which a exams you should take. Therefore, this screencast is intended primarily at newcomers to the IT industry. In my experience, most IT newcomers tend to approach the CompTIA a credential as their first certification. Our agenda is as follows. We'll first unpack the confusion that tends to confront the newcomer concerning the CompTIA a exam track. And there is some confusion to be had there, quite frankly. We'll then go on a tour of the CompTIA a website and look at the credentials in some detail. Third, we'll examine some Pearson resources that I guarantee can help you prepare and pass those exams. And finally, I'll offer you my contact information so you can reach me directly with any comments, questions, or suggestions for improvement that you might have. CompTIA A Plus in a nutshell. If you don't know, CompTIA is an industry consortium, a nonprofit industry consortium of various and sundry hardware and software manufacturers that attempts to define various skill sets. A Plus defines the PC and network repair technician skill set. Primarily, it's PC hardware repair and software configuration. There's another credential offered by CompTIA called Network Plus that's principally for network repair and basically a little bit of network design, but primarily it's network support and troubleshooting. I earned my A plus in 1998 or 1999, and that would qualify as the old school. You had two exams to pass and you were done. The initial exam was what was called the hardware exam. The second exam was the software exam or the operating system exam. Once you pass those two tests, you are considered an a certified PC repair technician. End of story. Now, over the last couple of years, the new school, as I call, you're still passing two exams and you're considered an a person. However, We've got this industry trend now towards specialization, and you'll see that when we go on the tour of the a website. And that's where the confusion comes in. Which specialization track is best for you? If you fire up your web browser and head on over to comptia.org, you'll reach the CompTIA homepage. There's a lot going on at that site. It's not just certification. They have their fingers in many computer and IT related pies, as it were. Can be kind of a jungle of a website to navigate, quite frankly. What I find is if you go over on the right hand navigation bar under CompTIA websites, there's a link called CompTIA Certifications. If you give that link a click, that'll bring you to the certification.comptia.org homepage. This is the site that you'll probably want to bookmark because this is the home page for just the CompTIA certs. You'll see that the CompTIA certification portfolio is pretty robust. They have over a dozen of them. Now, if you've read my stuff over at the Inform IT Certification Reference Guide, I pull no punches. I am a Pearson employee. However, I have no fear at all about giving you my gut level opinion. I am an IT pro myself, so I have my own opinions. I'm an industry person as well as a publishing person. In my opinion, the only CompTIA certifications worth any real effort on your part, if you are a newcomer to IT, I would recommend you look at A+, of course, Network+, and potentially Security+. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot of buy-in among these other ones. These other certifications get ultra-specialized, and email me if you want more information on that. We can click CompTIA A+, for now. This will take us to the CompTIA a certification homepage, and we'll scroll down, and this is a really nifty graphic that lays out the whole track for us. In a nutshell, here's what's going on, everybody. You have to pass the 220-601 exam. It's called a Essentials. Everybody has to take that. And then you've got three tracks to choose from. There's the 220-602 exam. That gives you the a IT technician credential, or you could do the 22603, that's the remote support technician, or you could do the 604 exam to earn your depot technician. My opinion, for what it's worth, go for the IT technician. 
In my experience in the classroom working as a technical trainer, this is where most of the people go, and this is the carryover from the old school A plus that I have from the late 90s. Remote support technician, this is where you call India if you call Dell support and you know those 24 hour help desk. That's basically the job role of the remote support technician. Do you really want to tie yourself down in that kind of job role? Depot technician, think of going to Circuit City or Comp USA or some retail store or maybe a mom and pop shop and doing bench repair. That's the job role of the depot technician. Now, I'm not minimizing any of those roles. Please, understand me. I've done both of those roles myself. I'm not in any way, shape, or form minimizing them. They are legitimate stepping stones or their ends unto themselves as far as careers go. I'm just saying, in my opinion, I think you get the most mileage because these exams are not cheap by doing the essentials plus the 602. The next question for you is the A-plus certification candidate, of course, is, all right, I know which exams I want to take. What is the best method for preparation? Well, that's another conversation entirely. However, I can give you some Pearson products that I stand behind, and I stood behind for years before I became a Pearson employee. I'm just laying it on the table for you, friends. These are some products, some of which haven't been released yet. You see this first bullet point, CompTIA A-plus certification kit according to my editorial calendar, isn't out until November 14th. Actually, I'm recording this screencast on the 10th, so this should, should be very, very fresh, ready to hit the shelves. We have our line called Exam Cram, which I used a lot when I entered the industry back in the mid to late 90s. Full suite of Exam Cram, Exam Prep products for all of the exams, all of four of the A-plus exams. We have a really interesting product called Windows Simulator, this simulates most of the Windows control panel applets. You might think to yourself, well, what do I need that for? You never know. Some of the questions on the A-plus exam, 602, 3, 4 in particular, get pretty picky about you knowing control panel items in Windows. We have some brand new products out there. Cert Prep Online is a web-based practice exam software. I've actually recorded screencasts on the OnCertification screencast channel on both Cert Prep Online and cert flashcards online, so I would simply defer to those screencasts if you'd like more info on those. To wrap up, everybody, again, my name is Tim Warner. As you know, I'm the host of the Inform IT on Certification screencast channel, as well as the reference guide. Our URL for on certification is easy to remember. It's a little bit tougher to find me at the reference guide. Hit up informit.com, and then in the upper right corner of the web page, link to the reference guides and you'll see a list of not just certification reference guides but there's a whole bunch of other ones too. Contact info timothy.warner at pearson.com Please don't hesitate to send me an email message with suggestions for future screencast ideas. Now these don't have to be Pearson products that I review. They can be additional competitors products or whatever. I don't care. I'll review anything. And as always, I thank you very much for watching and participating in this process. Take good care.